Hello there, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, in which we're playing as a very, very sky nation, and like normal, we have historical AI focuses off, as well as no one's going to get buffs, and everything's going to be set to the default. So the mods we're using for this campaign are Colored Buttons, Colored Events, State Chester Tool Mod, Player List Peace Conferences, Old World Blues, as well as Old World Blues, Mod Compilation, Bunch of Letters, too. But before, but before we get too far, and before I trip over my own words... On screen, there should be a little Discord icon, or at least a little list, of potential campaigns that I will play early on in October 2020. I believe the poll ends on my Discord server uh, on September 30th, so if you could go vote, I would really highly recommend it, because I'm interested in seeing how much support there is for each nation that is selected. Regardless, let's get back to the game, in which we shall begin with Chrono's Past. Well, nobody who doesn't have a death wish will F with Chrono. Nothing is known about their identity. Before they traveled to the deserts around Area 51, and became the leader of the Sky Reavers, they had their share of experiences that defined them, and like normal, we have three research slots, let's see, we are civilized. And I'll be honest, I've never played a Sky Reavers before at the time of this recording. Um, I have no idea what's going to happen. I've I'm going into this completely blind, so we'll see what happens. Construction basics, very cool. We have how many divisions? We have six, and they should be led by Joker because he's got more attack. Cool. And then obviously, Commander will be Chrono, and which will build up some civilian factories, not dockyards yet. 60%, and then 30, 30, and then boom, boom. Cool. And what do we have? We got guns. No, we don't need that. We don't need scrap motorcycles. Dynamite or dynamite, very good. Uh, I'll put three there, two there, and two eventually there. And let's see. Low, high. Reavers, and they are 18 combat with, with explosives already. That's not bad. I like that. Let's go with three for now, because we only, only have so much manpower. But let us let time go on. Wow, we're already out of scrap. Well, that's not good. And apparently, let's see. Uh, we're sort of the state of Nevada. That's probably going to be the, one of the main campaign goals for this. Uh, let's see. Border incident. Anyways, Chronos Pass. Given enough time or space and comfort, everyone begins to ask, what about me? Who was I before I became the boss of my Sky Reavers? What my deal is concerning the greater good? They want to understand me. Being understood is the first step on the road to my destruction. My past taught me that knowledge is power, so I hide my knowledge of myself well. But despite this, I know who I am, and I know I will never change. Or, So, I was a new Reno crime boss. I fell victim to the scheming Salvadors. I was an NCR officer. My squad was tasked with Border Patrol. We were attacked. Ooh. The Desert Rangers were my comrades until an expedition went south and they left me to die. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that, this sets... Ooh, I like that one. I like Arizona Ranger a lot just because that sets up a lot of aggravation between me and the Desert Rangers. I like that. That sounds like... That sounds really, really quite what we want here. Becoming an Arizona Ranger and more daily political power, I love it. So getting to know Chrono is one thing. Experiencing their rather unique personality is another. The Reavers didn't ask about their leader's decisions because asking the wrong questions at the wrong time is a very easy way to wind up dead. Chrono's motives are known only to themselves, and they know those motives well. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I like this little bit of uh, animosity towards them. And profits from the drug trade, cool. Uh, Jet, buff out, cycle, mentats, and even good old-fashioned Mary Jane are... Making a killing, literally, for some people. But for everyone or every person whose life is ruined by narcotics, there's a person who sold them the drugs that did them in. We're able to profit from this lucrative trade and can use the profits to fund our armies. Ugh, I love caps. Actually, you know what? Are we out of... We are out of it. Uh, this is probably a good thing to do at the beginning of pretty much any campaign. We could do that too. Oh, wait. We lose 100 caps. Uh, we're going to do it eventually anyways. We might as well. And now we can't buy stuff. Oh, no. They don't have enough stock. That's okay. So, Corona's personality. Who am I? What is my ultimate goal in this life? I know, I've known since the moment I got the chance to kill that son of a gun in single combat. The world needs change, it needs a strong leader. It needs me. Progress, research speed, authority, acquire wealth. We went to the right side earlier, so I might just do with the right side again. Stability and research speed are nice. Consumer goods, well, they're never always everlasting, but origin to the Sky Reavers. The Sky Reavers used to be nothing more than another raider outfit, rampaging with no direction or purpose. Their leaders were brutal, but indecisive. Things changed when Chrono came along. They managed to kill the last leader in single combat and took everything he had, including the leadership of the Sky Reavers. Since then, they've whipped the Sky Reavers into a force to be reckoned with, in which we get political power, but we get raider gains, which really kind of hurts us. Quite unfortunate. Quite so. Ah, gotta love old world blues. Let's see. Oh, we still need, we definitely have to investigate rumors. Yeah, that's definitely what we gotta do. Restore Nevada. And I guess 
I can take other people's arms workshops, which sound great. Uh, humble beginnings, though. When Chrono took over the Raider game, they held a speech to their new crew. Chrono needed to confront the rabble with their past errors to make Chrono's vision for a brighter future shine clear. Listening to that speech, the Chrono's re the Sky Reavers knew that change was coming. What was the thrust of Chrono's speech? Arguing that the outfit was too small to make a difference and needed to conquer more territory? Not bad. Confronting them with l how little they actually knew of warfare and how much Chrono could teach them? Not bad. Or that there would be no squabbling between bosses. That Chrono's word was now law. I like that manpower, but... Ooh, what do we... Oh, let's see. Petty gain conscription. Nice. We're at the bottom. That's good for now. Ooh, her organization, supply consumption, and stability. You get more reinforcement and better justify war goals times. Doom of the Wasteland. Huh. And we don't allow slavery. What do we have for, for Seth? Ivan Sarkov. Oh, okay. Oh, more soft attack, more hard attack, and piercing. Okay. Expanding the gang. Not bad. I like that guy. Chrono's left hand man. More attack. Yes, please. Special Forces, ooh, 20%, man, that's a lot. Ooh, attack on territory, defense on core territory, oh, look at that, 100, holy cow, brute. Aggressive attacker, well, let's see, and economically, diplomatic approaches, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure which path we're going to go down, because we're doing Chrono's outfit for now, but obviously we probably have to make a choice eventually about which path we go, it is what it is, I have no idea which path I want to choose, let's see, you have to be elites for that one, Ken Pusher, eh. Eh, slaving dude. We lose stability in exchange for more consumer goods. That's not really worth it, selecting that one. Uh, manpower is nice and all, but you can always eventually get more manpower, I think. Especially, let's look at the focus group before we make a choice. Because, if we go to the right side, taking out the competition, we can confront the grabbers and cripple the white legs. Eventually, if we take everything from the grabbers, you get a core of their territory. Get an item as well. Show them who's boss and rebuild. The t former territory of the White Legs tribe will be rebuilt. If promises were made, they will be honored. Alright, so it doesn't look like we get a lot of manpower. Huh. Barbarians, huh? Hmm. Areas reborn. Sky Reavers HQ. Well, I'm just going to go with political power, because political power is always very helpful. We can stage incidents if we really want to. Military theorists. More daily army XP game might be pretty darn good to do. Ooh. I'm not really sure which one to choose, though. So many options. Too many options. Non-core manpower. Power broker. It's just not worth it for that lower stability for now. Uh, I guess we could go well-equipped army. I mean, That's always a solid one to do. But no, 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 no. We're going to get this one. Just because... Ooh. Conventional warfare. I haven't thought about that. Land doctrine. Well, we're going to use a lot of infantry. We are raiders, but we are civilized. I'm thinking we're probably just going to go conventional warfare then. I think it's been a while since I've done that one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Cool. We still have 126. Not bad. Can I... we got to wait a little bit longer. That's okay. So, let's do... Bu building the Sky Reavers. One of the first things Chrono changed was the organization of their freshly acquired outfit. They installed a group of trusted lieutenants that reported directly to them and made Chrono's will clear to their forces, acting as the Sky Reavers' nervous system and establishing order among the troops. Wow, that's pretty good. Plus 15% uh, stability. That ain't bad. That really ain't bad. We only get two for now. It's fine. Olympus tribe is gone. And building the Sky Reavers. As Chrono installed the lieutenants into the new leadership positions, they gave the lieutenants a little advice on how exactly they should lead. Domination and shows of force are key. Daily elite support and ruler support. Support them and be an example to them, ensuring their loyalty. People support and ruler support. Carrot and stick in equal measures. Intellectuals. Oh, no, no, no. Don't tell me I have to... Ooh, I can call for a raid. I have to make a choice now. A lot of the people sated. Oh, I don't want to make a choice now. Chrono's ambitions. Let's read that one. So with their new officer corps in place, Chrono can turn their attention towards, towards accomplishing their goals. These operations will have a scale larger than anything that Reavers have done before, and their impact on the future will be immeasurable. So I, I don't know, man. This is too early for me to decide. The destiny. Let's see. The Reavers will grow restless over this. Grip on the gang restless. So either you can go with the Republic, sort of a new way with Crystal Springs, it'll become known as the Sky Reaver Republic, versus the Sky Reaver Chronarchy, which sounds like a lot of fun. I kind of like that. Or follow the old way, in which becomes just the Sky Reavers. Ooh, which one? That daily intellectual and elite support and ruler support. Huh. This one gives you more people, intellectual, and elite, and ruler. Oh my goodness. Domination, show of force, carrots and stick in equal measure. Uh, does that... Because, oh, down here, we can get research groups, military pact, more than 500 manpower, more than 500 manpower. Uh, does this... Uh, oh, I have no idea. Elite. So, people, ruler. 
elite ruler, intellectual ruler. Oh, shnikes. Who, who's leading each group? So, Darius will, Frank the Butcher. Uh, I kind of want, hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. Why do I just make a choice? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, we could get Diplomatic. Has Big Joe. Ranger Agreement. Volunteer to... Oh, yeah. oh. Spanning the Reaver Road. Ranger Agreement for the 6th ability. We don't want to... Maybe elect them too much. Screw it. I'm just going to choose... Elites. Ah, oh, we'll go Elite. Why not? Domination shows a force. Why not? I don't want to wait too long for that. Uh, next up... We want to get that. We could get another army. Followers of the Apocalypse. That happens every game. Just let them come. They'll only do good-ish. Goodish things. Oh, so we get slightly more daily ruler support. 0 0.06 compared to 0 0.05. Alright, whatever. Cool. How much political power do we get at 1.32? That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe we'll do it against the cons. Maybe we can raid the cons first. Just because I don't want to invade them, really. I really don't care about them too much. So. Can we buy guns? Guns, please? No, they don't have enough yet. They need 500 to talk. They don't got enough caps, but they ain't got enough guns for us. How dare they? And at least we're getting some more daily army speed, which is very nice. Yeah. Like I said earlier, I have no idea what this is, how to play these guys yet. I've never played as a Sky Reavers before, so. Does the Rangers clear one of the Vipers? Cool. Actually, you know what? We might want to stage an incident there. But that means we have to have a border war. Maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Mm, maybe not. Maybe it's not a border war. If anything, we might do Desert Rangers first, because we don't I don't like them. They left Chrono there to die. How dare you? And we're about to get paid in within a month. Cool. Ah, now we can buy guns. Give me all your guns, no matter how crappy they might be. Hey, the art of haggling, very cool. Industry planning, construction basics, improvised tools, uh, work as needed, as well as woodworking. Because why not? We like building stuff. We went from two to three. We went and got a whole one more factory, even though we have two on special projects trying to create a uh, reclamation authority yes I believe that is what it is you know what I want to try it actually ooh, ooh, we get more stability though mm, I'm gonna wait I think it's best to wait get some hygiene we kind of smell here kind of smell a little bad followers established please stop lowering my war support please for the love of god please yeah so we have support from ab abroad huh we have Love of the People, which is stable. And then we have Grip on the Gang, Sated. Slashing melee we weaponry. Uh, okay. Yeah, we could probably actually use some of this because we want to make some special forces. That'd be kind of nice. All right, next up. Diplomatic Approaches, which you get political power. I kind of want to take out the competition immediately. We've got Military Pass, which is not bad. We lose manpower, but that's kind of okay. Let's do this one first. Taking out the competition. The Reavers are like any other gang. Give them something to fight, and they're content. They're... The Reavers face several competitors in the north and east. Perhaps it is time to pay them a visit. Yes. Very much yes. How is this coming along? Not too bad. Actually, how is this looking? Uh, how is this looking? We are currently... eight. You know what? Just make it 20. Um, that, that's, that's done. That's good. That's really good stuff. Joker falls ill. Well, what are you up to, Joker? What are you doing? Reclamation Authority? Great. The Old World Secrets will be ours. This happens every game because we have to always create a new one. Uh, we'll put a support company on them. And this happens every game, too. Followers establish themselves. Our relationship with the followers will be mutually beneficial. And they stop lowering my war support, which is good. Just go and help out the settlements for now. That's so good to do. Three civilian factories are so nice. And if you need to, go ahead and train, maybe? You guys might need to train. Maybe, maybe not. Once you get enough guns, of course. We'll see what happens. I'm joining with my cat, Binky, who's currently taking a nap on my chair. Right, Bink? He's having a good time. Cool, cool, cool. We need so many more guns, please. Can I have my guns, please? Please have guns. Hey, we got 10 XP. Actually, do we have any uh, other support companies besides demo teams, fire teams? Yeah, we could make those. Yeah, I'm not opposed to that. Get some demo teams on there first, though. Yeah, I suppose we could make fire teams. I know I won't ever, never make them, but you know what? Maybe we'll use them. Should I use them in this campaign? I don't know. Because sometimes you can use logistic companies. You don't get engineers because this is old world blues. Uh, maintenance companies, which would be kind of a waste on infantry. What about, uh, rocket launchers, which we always need. Field hospitals. We've got demo teams. I don't know. Should I use saws or not in this campaign? Should I? Should I not? I mean, let me know in the comments, because they're okay. But I'll leave it up to you guys. Uh, let's see. Confront the grabbers. I like that. But I don't want to go get military pass, so this way we can get through, uh, losing manpower for now, so we can always continue down the focus, uh, the focus tree 
our subtree here a little faster. So the region around Area 51 and Area 6 hides many secrets of old uh, of the old world quite famously. Fortunately for us, Kronos decided to take these places as a base of operations. While most secrets of the place remain unknown to us, it won't be long before we figure out the nearest nastiest ones. Nasty. We just need to kick our engineers into gear and figure out how we're going to get them working. That's all it takes. And now, let's see if we can do a good job against these guys. Can we please has military factory or arms workshop? 12. Okay, then. And we got another division out of that. Great. Um, It seems like I could abuse this quite a bit. Is there anything else that I really want? Yeah, I got a more elite support for this, taking out the competition. It, actually, that's not bad. More consumer goods. At, we get, mm, slight, just a pitiful amount more political power. But more elite support? Mm hmm. Let's see what this daily elite. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Okay, Glowing Hills. I don't know, let's raid. I, I usually don't ever play raiders, and raiding? Why not? Because we can. And I'm avoiding the grabber territory, because we're going to take them out anyways. This might actually weaken the Desert Rangers a little bit more, so. It's fine with me. The Rachel's Border. Yeah, we don't want to do that one. We want to do Northwest Mojave. Oh, we could piss off the NCR. Hmm. That might not be a good idea. But, uh, I'm here to have fun, so... <laughs> So many more scrap, which is unfortunate. Yeah, why not? Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate your factories. All right, so then we'll do great cons next. Let's see, let's come over here, and we lost. Oh, look at that manpower. Oof. Did we just make a division or something? Not yet, but oh my goodness. Uh, just in case, I don't want the thing to get too low, so do that. So keep at least 500 for now. That'd be good. Iron Alliance Clear World and Wither Dogs. Goodbye, guys. Good luck. Oh, we got paid with guns. I love getting paid with guns. Ah, <sighs> guns. Love it. Cool. Anything else? Carcass Walkers are gone. Uh, call for raid, of course, but now nah, we're good. Wait, I can buy more guns. Aw, oh, yeah. Or, I guess, slashing melee weaponry, maybe. Work is needed. That's good. Let's grab some. We could do that. Let's get some organized agriculture. Let's start doing this over here as well to get some better reinforce rate. I think that would be quite appropriate for a combat language. And begin doing some warrior training. And then maybe do a land doctrine. Yeah. We should probably do a land doctrine. Usually those are pretty useful. Usually. Anyways, chief of army. I don't want to look at that. I want to look at military high command. You get more t plus 20% attack. Minus 10% defense. He's a brute. You get 5% more attack. Oh, 5% more population. Oh, that looks so good. Woo. Don't tempt me with a good time. Uh, let's do this one. The great cons, thank you. Military passed. And so we're done with that. We need more than five. Oh my goodness, we lose 500 more. Oh my gosh, we lose 500 more? Ooh, ooh, that is costly. Let's just confront the grabbers then. That's not bad too. Chrono's deal. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, oh, maybe I'll do that one first. Reformation of the Sky Reavers. Despite Chrono's efforts, they are only the beginning of what will become known as the Reformation. Changing a gang's customs is a long, hard process. If it's complicated or completed, however, the possible gains could outweigh any risks. You get, hey, get 500 manpower, lose political power, and get some more stability. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, we, oh, it's only 10. That's really actually pretty worth it, but mm, I think I'm going to wait. 1.37. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. That's pretty nice. 69. Nice. Uh, let's see. I'd like to do that, but over here... I want to get some field hospitals on these guys, but we don't really have field hospitals yet. So I guess we'll come back down to Spec Ops Divisions, and we'll throw one of these on. There we go. Train it if you can. Uh, now we're out of manpower. Yeah, we gotta get that 5% stability. As much as I want to get in another military factory, uh, we're actually doing pretty darn well right now. So, cool. Yeah. I'd love to do all this stuff, but we just don't have the means to do it right now. It's unfortunate. Living standards, I'd love to get more stability right now, but we gotta wait for it. And of course, we're out of manpower. So, let's grab some seed selection. More monthly population. We get a whole 7 people a month. That ain't much. Oof. Yeah. Raider, recruiter. I'm, I'm, I don't know any other option. I mean, we could raise our conscription level right now, but that would... Actually, that goes by plus up 8% more supply consumption. Oh, we actually lose 8% stability, too, which is not good. Uh, grab some encryption. That'd be nice, 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 nice. And we have another division. Beautiful. 
That's the case, lower by one more just because uh, we don't have any manpower. And we won't have any for a while, so we can't. We're limited by what focuses we can take, so. Which is not a deal. And we gotta get some planes. Planes are nice. I love, 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 love planes. And beautiful. Uh, let's do this. Get more weekly stability. We've struck a deal with Crystal Springs. They work with us, build for us, and we'll give them a cut of our loot and keep them safe. Seems fair to Chrono. And from their eager amount or agreement, seems good to Crystal Springs too. So we get arms workshop, two civilian workshops, more weekly stability for two years. This will please the population that lives in your territory. So love of the people stable, safe and sound. You get more political. Wow, look at that political power gain, non-core manpower, stability, and wow. Okay, do they hate us or something right now? So that's going to affect this. That's going to give us benefits. I like benefits. Wealth. Raider gang is... Ah. Domination shows the force. Cool. Toronto's deal looks really good, though. Oh, we can investigate rumors. Doing this early could be very good for us. Uh, did I get this guy yet? No, we, no, we didn't get it. So we're going to get the recruiter first. And then we're going to do investigate rumors, because you never know what you might find. You might be able to find uh, Gauss rifles, maybe? Maybe some plasma rifles there, too, in Area 51. So, if you could get that early on, it's just GG. Or, you could end up getting Command to Kain, and he'll just probably destroy us completely, because even though he has no cores on this area up we call our own land, he's not completely weak with, what, over 200 divisions of robot divisions, and we have no piercing. Oh, secret language, nice. Let's go and grab some reference manuals. More description, very good. I did want to go to war early on with... Uh, grab your territory, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Because this is too, it's just too good to pass up. Yeah, I want to go to war with them as fast as possible and then core them, and then probably end up fighting the White Legs, or actually, we will find, end up fighting the White Legs, but fight the 80s, because they usually want to get come all the way down here too. There we go. There we go. That's nice. Warrior training is very, very good. Slashy melee, eh, yeah. Crowd control is very good to do, but we got to start doing our land doctrine. Conventional warfare. More entrenchment, which is good. On Dying Alcast, clear one of the forges. Very cool. Pain the men. Wait, who's Hong Sei Mori? Oh, uh, hello! You are new! Lieutenant Louis Wei? Oh my goodness! Who are you? It's like a normal generic focus tree, Ghoul Rebellion. Why are you Chinese? Chrono's deal? More non core manpower, stimulus package. Oh, not bad. I'm gonna go confront the grabbers, though. These gropey little bastardinos have been sitting on our doorstep, grousing and spitting in our face for, ta for far too long. It's time to rile the boys up and show them we are not to be effed with. Oh, so many bad words in this one. Oh my goodness. So many bad words. Not for my pure innocent ears. Okay, they're not innocent at all, but whatever. Uh, reference manuals. Uh, resistors, we, we might as well do that now. Innocence lost. Achievement unlocked. Oh, uh, we could get this one. Uh, it might be better to do other stuff here, though. Eh, go and get some more local workspaces, more critical population factor, more output. That's what's just stuff we need right now. And I'm gonna. Ooh, can I? Mm, can I do this? Yeah, I can. Good. We're gonna slowly make them better, 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 and then we'll probably grab some field hospitals next. Probably. You know what? Let's investigate the rumors. I want to see what happens. This could be so bad. This could be. This could end the campaign. And if the Commander Kain pops up, the you know the crazy guy, uh, you you won't see that, or you might see that for a little bit, and they'll fade in, fade out, just to say like, oh, my bad, I made a mistake. Another division, cool. I mean, we're gonna need divisions, but we're gonna need more manpower. I wait. What nation normally is this? I forget what nation this is. Uh, yeah, I can't remember the top of my head. Era prosperity. I got to play as Withered Dogs. Oh, ooh, are you old dog? Withered Dogs? Hmm. Actually, yeah, 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 I gotta play as this nation. Oof. I still haven't played as the 80s at the, at the time of this recording, so. More max planning, huh? I need to play as the 80s. I, I, I don't know why, I've just been waiting. Ooh, the People's Front. Ah, oh, the old dog. You old soul. Broken mind. King of the Ghouls, the feral dog. Additional slavery laws are now available. Ooh, new subjects. With their dogs, with their dogs. Alpha dogs. There is another. Yeah, I gotta play as that Colorado group. Oh my goodness. Hey, we actually have a group here. Nice. Confront the grabbers. That's good. Let's see. Chem's distribution has Marcus Johnson. Oh, we don't get more speed. Oh, no. We need to get Marcus Johnson eventually. 
I didn't realize that. Securing with ore. Oh, it's ours. Cool. To have a better stand against the bloody grabbers, we can build up defenses alongside the border to greet them properly if they have the balls to come. Well, they have balls. They probably can arrive. Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Mm, we could buy more guns. Who's Marcus Johnson? I don't see him there. Marcus Johnson? Oh, he's right here. Oh, he's the guy we wanted anyways. Okay, so I guess... What is it? What did I want to do? I forget. Earlier I wanted to do something here. Uh, first of all, how are guns? Uh, guns are doing not great, but they're doing better. So I guess we could buy some more. Why not? Quest follower aid. Yeah, it's only 10. We might as well. Oh, oh, we can raid them again. Nice. Oh, See, so now they're going to war, war the Ruby Valley Refuge. This could get definitely get us in an early war against the 80s, which would probably not be a great thing if we take out the grabber territory. But I don't care. I'm going to do it anyways. There goes Arroyo. Goodbye, Arroyo. Oh, poor Arroyo. I need to play the Apostles. There's so many nations of Old World Blues. I've played a lot of them. I've played some of them even twice. There's so many nations of Old World Blues. I love it. The devs do a great job. They really do. Glowing Hills Border. Hmm. Nellis Air Force Base. Ooh. Oh, that's not bad. Rachel Border. No. Glowing Hills. Now this Air Force Base, I think that'd be good to do. So we grab another, look at the 24. We're, we have as many arms workshops as we do civilian factories. That's nice. That's quite nice, actually. Do three. Oh, we have 25 now. Look at that. Okay, now we have one more arms workshop. Do we compl already complete building? Complete building? I can't word right now. Wow. Words are difficult, my friends. Uh, 60. That's not bad. You can throw one more on, I guess. That's fine for now. And then throw, like, three on there, because we're going to need that. And do that too. Resistors? I love resistors. Grab some smoke signals. Happy 2276, my friends. It's going to be a great year. Let's just hope so. Alright, so next up, I want to choose something else here. Um, let's see. Slave Flogger. It's not bad, but eh. Local loyalties. It's not bad, not great. Trusted advisor. Ed Economic advisor cost goes down. How about down here? Chem pusher. Curling party, ruling party has to be elites. Maybe we'll do that one. Yeah, over here, it doesn't seem like that great. I guess we could probably just go with Freeman's Victor since we're building stuff up anyways all the time. Securing what's ours is always good. And let's do a prepare a welcome committee. The boss is not satisfied with the defenses as they are, so get to work! These bunkers will not, or will not build themselves. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, this stuff is kind of waste. We want industrial concerns. Actually, is there anything else here? Lock and load, ballistics, infantry equipment. Demos, uh, power armor, combat, stability, meh. Just go with that. It's, it's tried and true. It's pretty good stuff. And grab some clay working. We can build a wee bit faster. Just a wee bit. Oh, we got another civilian factory done. Nice. And next one will be done in June or on June 24th. Very, very good. Yeah, we're going to help some settlements next. That'd be good. It's only 20. You get a free civilian workshop after 100 days. And during those 100 days, you get more monthly population. It's not great, but it's nice. Oh, another 10. Great. Alright. Oh, oh, I remember now. I gotta research med companies. Med companies. Fire teams, we'll probably use those too, since we're making them anyway, so. Oh, you need a leader too. My bad. Oh, Black Widow. You're better on supply consumption. I'm not sure that these guys use that much supply, but use, go and use them anyways. That's fine. Uh, how many? How much uh, fire equipment do we have? 114. Conventional warfare? Nice. Let's go and grab some battle plans. Mar Max planning is good. We'll be out by 50, which is fine. That slows up, or that slows up, that slows down the the rate at which we produce more divisions, which is not necessarily a good thing, but in this case, I'm going to gladly welcome that, just because I think it's worth it. We need to slow down maybe a little bit. We could do some other focuses as well. Let's see, light touch, infantry. We're going to be mostly using infantry here, so. But, you know what? I want to go with Normax planning. We're going to get a lot of planning. Okay, now we can get some light touch. Oh, we got another one. Chrono. Chrono's, Chrono's great. Smooth talker, then. Got a lot of bonuses already. Love it. Alright, that's good. We could stage another incident. Do we, but do we need more? Kind of, yeah. Kind of, actually. Alright, we'll do... I'll do the Great Cons, finally. There we go. And, and these forts are being built up here. Three. Wow, three. That's not bad. I think it only, I thought it would be one or two uh, outposts, but okay. Prepare a welcome committee. We'll get through this stuff later on, but we don't really need it now. Let's teach... 
manners. The grabbers don't respect us. They don't fear us. We'll show them how wrong they are in doing that. Shopping your blades and clean your guns, boys. We're going to wall. Cool. If I can grab that army. Cool. cool. So if anything, we're probably going to come like right here. And go pop pop. There you go. Then we win, right? And that's how you win. Just go pop pop. And you're done. Send your manor prospectors because you can. We could sell some outdated equipment, but... Mm, I think we'll be okay. Spec Ops equipment's looking really nice, though. Maybe a little bit too nice. Smoke signals. Cool. Grab some decryption. Yeah, let's go ahead and lower that from those guys. Lower that to two. That'd be fine for now. We're going to need more of this, too. Very good. And hopefully we get some more army XP. Oh, we need planes. Planes and support and field hospitals. We don't really need to do this more now. We just, just got to wait a little bit. We just, just got to wait a little bit. Vanish scouts. Oh, no. Well, crap. Oh, no. We got to investigate root. Rumors again. Terrible, I say. So do we? So these guys are in Nevada. Okay, that's okay. Utah's all white legs, and now the 80s have taken over a piece of Nevada, which is not ideal. NCR is at war, which is what do you expect? What do you expect? Cool. I just, I just want to get to war before this episode ends. At least get to one war. 20 factories, I and mean, that's, that's pretty darn good. I think we've done really well for, you know, just grabbing other people's factories. And 95% stability? Muy bueno. That is a big she. I guess the Western Brotherhood gave up this area. That really sucks for them, but you know what? They made their choice, and I make mine with encoded signals. Alright, so what do we do here? Expanding the gang. I mean, we gotta do that one. We kinda have to. Over here, drill masters. 20% attack! Jesus Christ! That's so good! Infantry attack, plus 10% though! Oh, 20% more attack. That's 20% for everyone. Oh, good lord. Special forces. Oh, man. Bane. Oh. You know what? I would almost never choose this in any other campaign. So let's choose Bane. You know what? I, I almost never use people like that. that With those types of benefits. So why not? Oh, oh stop training too. Please stop training. You go need that. Uh, actually, how many divisions do they have? I wanted to cut these guys off. Who are you? Diabolical Debris? Don't question the boss. Eh, you have a generic focus tree, it looks like, so. Uh, how many divisions do you have? They kind of like us. They don't have that much manpower. 7 to 12, that's a lot more than what they're showing right now. Which is fine, you know, we can deal with it. And, any day now? Okay, it was that one day. We declare war on them, and next we shall do cripple the white legs. Meh. We got some manpower now. We got to probably scout Area 51. Area 6, or scout Area 6 first. So it isn't in tatters like Area 51. While it's still t it'll still take time and men to make it usable, there are far more things to make use here. Cool. Good luck. I might just go ahead and try to move up that way. I mean, if they have no one here, I, I guess we'll move up. I mean, I do want to encircle them at least a little bit. That'd be kind of smart, right? Um, hmm. Clay working, very cool. Very cool. Let's grab some basic tools as well. That's always good to get. I mean, if I guess just try to go for City 318. At this point, you might as well. Vault City Clay War and Pale Folk, cool. And please, for the love of God, do not get encircled. For the love of God, why would you do that? Uh, go head back. Oh, you just got encircled, you bunch of dum dums. You know what? Tell you all to go then. Well, we got the capital. I guess you're gonna continue going that way. You're gonna go there, and you're gonna go straight for Outpost Quinn. Uh, well, you don't have to go there. You can go right there if you want to help liberate these guys. You guys hold for now. All right, cool. If anything, I'd like to attack up that way. Keep these guys busy for now. This is definitely not what I expected us to do, but you know what? It is what it is. We'll do whatever we can to be successful, right? Now they're trying to get that territory back, which is fine with me. We're just going to cut them off, and then you're going to go up there to go there. You just go right there, take them out. Cool! And then you guys get some vacuum tubes. That's a little bit ahead of time. Let's go instead grab some of this. Plant cultivation. Hey, and a division encircled. Beautiful. And dead. That's how I like my divisions. Dead. 
Well, we definitely got a lot more army XP out of this. Oof. Scavengers found something great. Better in our hands than our enemies. Infantry tech. Not bad, not bad. Cool. I'll go and help out here. Might as well. Yep, crush him, crush him. We've lost about 47, 50 guys. 50 guys versus 600. Not bad, not bad. Yep, and okay, we've killed off about a thousand. Cool, but I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will core this territory and continue pursuing our conquests of Nevada. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.